What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Happy to be back, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. If everyone has free will. Only take the message that you're listening to the Free general collective reading. Um, this daily key to save the sand. For 831 in 2022, it's actually 1111. Angel number 1111, just saying, just saying, saying. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, apply. everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. My daily tea is a little different than my other readings. It's more general current pulling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on different time of life path. So for some of you guys, it can resonate outside the 72-hour time frame. Um, just saying. Okay, so... I received a download this morning, or this afternoon, rather. It's 11, 12 a.m. now. So, um, it's actually pretty beautiful, and I looked it up, so, you know, I'll read a little bit on it. But, um, I heard angel number 999, very significant, is what I heard. Angel number 999, significant, very significant. Now, you know, 888 is abundance, 555 is change, we know 1111, I mean... We went over many angel numbers on here before on the channel, many, over the course of two and a half years, many, but I've never done 999 and I've never heard angel number 999, but I did. So we're going to do it. Okay. So I Googled it. Angel number 999. <clears throat> if you keep seeing 999, this is a time to be focused on yourself and your healing. Invest in healthy expressions of self-care, whether it's, um, well, it says retail therapy, but I don't recommend retail therapy. To me, that's unless you have the money to do it. Just saying. You don't want to be in credit card debt. But you take it out, resonates. Or finding a job that feels more aligned with you. Angel number 999 says that you should make it happen. You're ready to move on from the old and let go. So basically, completions of cycles, transformation energy, completions of cycles into new cycles, letting go, healing, moving on, growing, um, and healing. Um, let's see. Oh, also it's, uh, signified with wisdom and maturity. So, um, I feel some of you guys, uh, if this message applies for you, angel number 999, I feel you're very mature. You've gained a lot of wisdom over your years, or, I mean, I don't care if you're 25 or 65. Um, you know, maturity is not about physical age. It is about how you handle situations. And that's just the truth. How you go through situations, handle them. Um, in appropriate fashion, then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I feel some of you guys are very wise. You're very wise. I don't care if you're 25 or 105, and you're very mature. Um, and I think, I possibly think, you're wise and mature, and that's why um, you're healing, focusing on self-growth and expression and moving on, basically. Um making it happen energy making it happen focus on your goals focus on um what brings you happiness what brings you happiness not doing what other people want you to do not falling in with the status quo doing whether it's a new career a new job uh a business businesses uh creative ideas um how that resonates and applies okay of course getting around healthy energies um, I just, uh, that's for me, just saying, getting around healthy energies, people that grow, inspire, motivate you and, um, want, want you to do better, basically not karmic energies that pull you down and, um, lie to you and withhold information and just want to use you for money or sex or what have you, what have you. Uh, angel number 999 also symbolizes completion and fina finality. So maybe some of you guys are coming in. Well, definite completion of cycles here. So um, I'm feeling some of you guys are completing cycles and um, you're finalizing things. It could be legal things. It could be not legal things. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, and then moving into new um, new areas.
Yeah, that's okay. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. And change and change, which would you know the endings of cycles and completion, uh, moving, transforming into new cycles. That's change. So. Okay. Yeah. You uh. A positive sign for the universe that you have completed a cycle and you're about to enter a new chapter in your life. Positive transformative change. So we're going to pull some cards and see what we get. So angel number 999. By the way, thanks to all my new subscribers. We're like 14,140 or something like that. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on public, um, on social media and word of mouth very publicly. I appreciate it. Here are messages you have reflected. I heard take it upright. Patient, success, expansion, and flow. I heard take it. So we have patience, success, expansion, and flow. Number 18, 34, 37, or 24. It could be very significant numbers in one's life. 18, 34, 37, or 24. It could be a possible age of viewers by you're connected to. Or any other significant number in one's life. 18, 34, 37, or 24. Patience upright, success upright, expansion upright, flow upright. You have been very patient. Soon your career is about to take off. For some, your career and your personal life. Some regarding kids, some not. Some regarding love, some not. Okay, you've been very patient. And for some of you guys, your career is about to take off. Some your love life. I'm um, not your love life, your personal life. Um, so... You plug it in, how it resonates. So completions of cycles, entering into new cycles, angle number 999. You've been very patient. So you haven't been impulsive. You haven't done things irrationally or impulsively. You haven't made stupid decisions. You've really contemplated with your uh, crown chakra and really meditated and contemplated and used your air sign energy in a positive way. Really thought, like, really thought out what you needed to do. You didn't just do something out of the whim, you know, like having five drinks and then getting arrested for a DUI, you know, something like that. Um, how that resonates, okay? Or going and taking, you know, illicit drugs or, um, or you know, some, some insane, um, just saying. You're, you're very, you patiently have waited. So whatever the, uh, however this resonates, um, you've been very patient. You have not been impulsive. And um, I don't care what sign you are. Well, I don't care what sign you are. You um, have not been impulsive, been very patient, and it's, it's about to pay off. Some in your career, so how that resonates, some in your personal life. And for the personal life, I heard some it's regarding uh, kid or kids, and some it's regarding love. And I didn't hear love. I didn't hear lust. I didn't hear hit, hit it and quit it. I didn't hear um, one night stand. Um, wh whatever the love means, I think this is a, could possibly be a healthy relationship if it is grew and manifested into that. Of course, everybody has free will. And if you choose not to grow and manifest the connection, you choose not to grow it. But if you do, hopefully you grow it in a healthy, copacetic way. Um, and not like a hit it or quit it or one night stand or a stinky link or what have you, what have you. Okay. Um, but you've been very patiently waiting. Um. For something and whether it's personal with kid or kids and or um 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 or some kind of relationship i heard love so i think it could manifest into love or it is love how that resonates and you're going to have success you're going to have success um for some i feel it could be poor situations regarding child or children i didn't hear that but i feel it could be for some possibly um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But however that resonates, it could for some it could just be manifesting children back into your life or manifesting positive things to happen for them. 
maybe you save up money and you're able to afford tournaments, ball tournaments for them, or like I did all those years. Um, I worked minimum wage job and all my extra money I'd save up after rent and bills would go to my kids' tournaments so we could do that on the weekends. And I'm serious, true story, but it made me so happy and it made them so happy and it gave us something to do and they were around community and positive um, skills that they could learn in life later on with uh, team teamwork development and things of that nature with ball teams. Um, and that's a big reason why I did it. But every single penny of my extra money went towards their tournament fees, their jerseys and gas and traveling. And it was some of the best years of our life. And I'm just serious. It was. It was wonderful. I wouldn't trade it for the world, and I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Um, so it, that is just an example. I can only use myself as an example, but for whatever the how that resonates for whoever is what I'm trying to say. Um, however, that resonates for you. Um, but it's something regarding kids for some of you guys. So for some, I feel it could be court situations possibly about to go in your favor. For some, it could be that example of like. When I, you know, my kids were younger and I would work, 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 minimum wage job, save up every single dollar I had for tournament fees, for jerseys, for gas, for eats. And it was so worth it. So worth it. But how that resonates, um, just success, success, whether it's love or connect or connections that can turn into love or kids or kid or kids or career. You've been patiently waiting. You're about to expand. I think things are about to grow and flourish with the flow energy. Yeah. Oh, my God. And we got manifesting dreams underneath it. Yeah. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Okay. So expanding on your goals and dreams and aspirations regarding kid or kids or, um, um, or um, career or growing and manifesting a relationship. Maybe you ask somebody out on a date or maybe you get asked out on a date. Maybe there's some truth exposed there. Maybe feelings come out. I mean, we've got several avenues here. Career, kids, and um, kid or kids, and relationships. So you plug it in how it resonates. But it's going to flow properly, it looks like. You're going to expand yourself out. I, this could be heart chakra energy, too. I am actually feeling heart chakra energy here. Because we have growing and manifesting positive, copacetic, personal, love-type relationship. Uh, or kids, which heart chakra. At least I hope it's heart chakra. You know, I've been pulling in a lot of pedoph pedophile shit, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I know I have karmic so watch my channel, but for the most part of you guys, I feel you're upright in this. But you plug it in how it resonates, but expanding your heart chakra is what I'm feeling here. Your light side here. You're not low vibration, okay? Not a karmic energy. And flow. It's going to flow properly. Um, if it's manifested and honed correctly, which uh, <clears throat> we had manifesting dreams underneath it. So manifesting your dreams to flow properly, if you could see it. So expanding it out to manifest your dreams to flow properly, uh, flow and grow properly. It's really, really, really beautiful. It, it truly is. I mean, this is so beautiful. It really is. Congratulations to whoever this is for, and I'm serious about this. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to make this pretty quick because I'm going to go walking today. It's like 76 degrees here in Huntsville, Alabama. It's really beautiful weather, and I'm going to go utilize it. So, There are many series of chain of events, someone's um, family member, sister for some, brother for some is going to end up in jail. Huge crimes against you. For some of you guys, there are many series of chain of events, someone's sister for some, someone's brother for some is going to end up in jail. Huge crimes against you. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it's your brother about to end up in jail. For some, it's your sister about to end up in jail. For some, it could be both, your brother and sister. You plug it in how it resonates. I've been pulling in a lot of brother and sister criminal energy in here recently. A lot. So 
how that resonates and applies. But for some, it's your brother. For some, it's your sister. For some, it could be both. Um, they're about to end up in jail soon for huge crimes against you. So whatever the crime or crimes are against you that they did. Now, if this resonates for you, your brother or your sister or both are karmic energies to you, meaning they do not mean well for you and they did not mean well, well for you. And that's the whole reason why they, I'm assuming, committed crime or crimes against you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Number 35 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 35, pathway open. I think pathway open to this, six, um, this success because you've been so patient. Being able to expand out, grow, maybe business or businesses or a side hustle or two jobs or love or kids or a career or what have you. It's going to flow po uh, positively and you're going to manifest your dreams by doing this. This is really beautiful energy and pathways open here. And I think the pathways open to your brother or sister or your brother and your sister about to go to jail. And I'm just being serious because I did get that channel message in here too. But um, of course, you only plug their message or messages in how they resonate in, in your own life. But however that resonates, if it does resonate for you, and I do feel if the brother or sister going to jail energy happens, I obviously, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to hear about it or not. I hope you do because um, I feel you. I feel you should be notified, but, you know, the way the world goes, you may not be. You might just hear it from somebody, but I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. Pathway open. Pathway is completely open. And someone about to return a stolen inheritance. They're about to take a stolen inheritance and take it to a lawyer. Through many series of chain events, that's about to be very positive for you. Because you're about to be notified about this. It's your inheritance. Okay, so you put water sign energy about to take it to the lawyer. Okay, water sign energy about to take it to the lawyer. Somebody has somebody's soul inheritance. I've been picking that up in here too for weeks, if not a month or months. Somebody has somebody's soul inheritance. Um, it's water sign energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising. Venus, North, Thumb, and here in Jupiter shards. I heard um, this person is about to take the soul inheritance and take it to a lawyer. Um, if this resonates for you, and through many series of chain events, you're going to be notified of your stolen inheritance. I heard it is your, your inheritance. So one of you guys sounds like you're going to get a call from a lawyer soon regarding your inheritance, but they're not going to tell you all the back end, I'm presuming. They're not going to tell you all the backstory that somebody had it, somebody stole it, a water sign stolen, and blah, 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 blah. So if you get a phone call soon and you know that you should have had an inheritance a while ago, or you suspected you should have had one a while ago, and you get a phone call from a lawyer soon, um, about an inheritance, um, just know that it apparently had been stolen. Somebody had kept it hostage, but they released it. If that resonates for you. And it's about to make your pathway open financially. I think it's going to make it a lot easier in the money aspect. I feel for some, you've really, really been working hard, like in workplace dynamics or business or businesses to keep yourself afloat or to keep yourself comfortable. Um, and obviously somebody stealing your inheritance doesn't help that but I would never want to have a stolen inheritance personally because that is too damn dangerous that's dangerous that is felony charges right there uh, and that is just the damn truth I would never want to be a part of that and whoever this water sign is I'm presuming they don't want to be a part of it too I wouldn't why would anybody want anybody stolen inheritance other than greed and I'm just being serious that's too dangerous do you want is it worth winding up behind prison bars to, for somebody to, um, to have somebody stolen inheritance? No. And that's just the truth. But anyways, it's going to open up your pathway in that aspect too, if that resonates for you. Um, your pathway is about to be open financially. And it's about to be open in the um, career, child or, child or children. And I do feel for some it's court. I didn't hear specifically in here court, but I do feel for some you have court coming up. I do. Um, or some kind of legal matter or matters regarding children. Uh, for some, um, it is 
love, like relationship building, I'm feeling, or it could be going out on a date or asking somebody out on a date or what have you, what have you, okay? But your pathway's open regardless. Let me see if I hear anything else. And someone that was trying to hide a hit on your life in the past, they're about to be exposed. Earth sign energy. Virgo. And someone that had a hit out on your life in the past, they're about to be exposed. Um, Hitman energy. Uh, Earth sign, I heard heavy Virgo. So, um, they were paid a lot of money to off you. There's evidence in the universe of this. Okay, I heard they were paid a lot of money to off you in the past, and there's a lot of evidence in the universe supporting this, it sounds like. Uh, Virgo energy, heavy Virgo energy, uh, Earth sign. So Earth sign with heavy Virgo. They have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Henry Jupiter charts, and it's a man, masculine. I heard hit man, not hit woman. Um, but they obviously did not off you. They did not off you, whoever this person is. Um, now, why they didn't off you, I don't know, but... Um, but they didn't, but somebody else knows there's evidence in the universe that this Virgo, heavy Virgo placement, masculine earth sign with heavy Virgo, that he was paid a lot of shit ton of money basically to kill you, but you were still alive. And it sounds like somebody's about to expose that. Um, he could be one of the ones about to end up in jail too, possibly. I mean, because a plot and plot and threat on somebody's life is very serious. Very serious. Very. Um, you just can't go around threatening, paying people off to kill people. You can't you just go around um, putting hits out on people's lives. You can't just go around. I mean, you, you can't. You're not supposed to do that shit. And that's just the truth. That's very illegal. That's, uh, what is that? Um, um, well, I mean, that's terrible. That's so criminal. It's so criminal. Um, so I heard they're about to be exposed to. How that resonates in the plus. All right. I'm getting out of this. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And everybody have a wonderful day. And I'll stay.